come before him with prayer. That's interesting. The screen moved. Hmm. Oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Bless the you, Sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 68 God rises up and scatters his enemies. Those who hate him run away in defeat. As smoke is blown away, so he drives them off. As wax melts in front of the fire, so do the wicked perish in God's presence. But the righteous are glad and rejoice in his presence. They are happy and shout for joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Prepare a way for him who rides on the clouds. His name is the Lord. Be glad in his presence. God who lives in his sacred temple cares for orphans and protects widows. He gives the lonely a home to live in and leads the prisoners out into a happy freedom. But rebels will have to live in a desolate land. O oh God, when you led your people, when you marched across the desert, the earth shook and the sky poured down rain because the coming of the God of Sinai because of the coming of the God of Sinai, the coming of the God of Israel. You caused abundant rain to fall and restored your worn-out land. Your people made their home there. In your goodness you provided for the poor. The Lord gave the command, and many women carried the news. Kings and their armies are running away. The women at home divided what was captured, Figures of doves covered with silver, whose wings glittered with fine gold. Why did some of you stay among the sheep pens on the day of battle? When the Almighty God scattered the kings on Mount Zalman, he caused snow to fall there. What a mighty mountain is Bashan, a mountain of many peaks. Why from your mighty peaks do you look with scorn on the mountain on which God chose to live? The Lord will live there for ever. With his many thousands of mighty chariots, the Lord comes from Sinai into the holy place. He goes up to the heights, taking many captives with him. He receives gifts from rebellious people. The Lord God will live there. Praise the Lord who carries our burdens day after day. He is the Lord who saves us. Our God is a God who saves. He is the Lord, our Lord, who rescues us from death. God will surely break the heads of his enemies, of those who persist in their sinful ways. The Lord has said, I will bring your enemies back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the ocean, so that you may wade in their blood, and your dogs may lap as much as they want. O oh God, your march of triumph is seen by all, the procession of God my King into his sanctuary. The singers are in front, the musicians are behind, in between are the young women beating the tambourines. Praise God in the meeting of his people, praise the Lord all you descendants of Jacob. First comes Benjamin, the smallest tribe, then the leaders of Judah with their group, followed by the leaders of, leaders of Zebulun and Naphtali. Show your power, O God, 
the power you have used on our behalf from your temple in Jerusalem, where kings bring you gifts. Rebuke Egypt, that wild animal in the reeds. Rebuke the nations that herd of bulls with their calves until they all bow down and offer you their silver. Scatter those people who love to make war. Ambassadors will come from Egypt. The Ethiopians will raise their hands in prayers to God. Sing to God, kingdoms of the world. Sing praise to the Lord, to him who rides in the sky, the ancient sky. Listen to him shout with a mighty roar. Proclaim God's power. His majesty is over Israel. His might is in the skies. How also is God as he comes from his sanctuary, the God of Israel. He gives, he gives strength and power to his people. Praise, Praise God. God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Genesis 4, 1-16 to Then Adam had intercourse with his wife, and she became pregnant. She bore a son and said, By the Lord's help I have gotten a son. So she named him Cain. Later she gave birth to another son, Abel. Abel became a shepherd, but Cain was a farmer. After some time, Cain brought some of his harvest and gave it as an offering to the Lord. Then Abel brought the first lamb born to one of his sheep, killed it and gave the best parts of it as an offering. The Lord was pleased with Abel and his offering, but he rejected Cain and his offering. Cain became furious and he scowled in anger. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why that scowl on your face? If you'd done the right thing, you would be smiling. But because you've done evil, sin is crouching at your door. It wants to rule you, but you must overcome it. Then Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out in the fields. When they were out in the fields, Cain turned on his brother and killed him. The Lord asked Cain, Where's your brother, Abel? He answered, I don't know. Am I supposed to take care of my brother? Then the Lord said, Why have you done this terrible thing? Your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground like a voice calling for revenge. You were placed under a curse and can no longer farm the soil. It has soaked up your brother's blood as if it had opened its mouth to receive it when you killed him. If you try to grow crops, the soil will not produce anything. You will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. And Cain said to the Lord, This punishment is too hard for me to bear. You're driving me off the land and away from your presence. I will be a homeless wanderer on the earth and everyone who finds me, anyone who finds me, will kill me. But the Lord answered, No, if anyone kills you, seven lives will be taken in revenge. So the Lord put a mark on Cain to warn anyone he met not to kill him. And Cain went away from the Lord's presence and lived in a land called Wandering, which is east of Eden. Adam and his wife had another son. She said, God has given me a son to replace Abel, whom Cain killed. So she named him Seth. Said, Seth had a son who he named Enosh. It was then that people began to use the Lord's holy name in worship. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You, you created, created all things, O God, God, and are worthy of our praise forever. forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To, to the, the one, one who sits, sits on the throne and to the Lamb, lamb be, be blessing and honour and glory and, and might, for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, 
and are, you are worthy, worthy of, of our, our praise, praise forever. Matthew chapter 22 verses 15 to 33. The Pharisees went off and made a plan to trap Jesus with questions. Then they sent to him some of their disciples and some members of Herod's party. Teacher, they said, we know that you tell the truth. You teach the truth about God's will for people without worrying about what others will think because you pay no attention to anyone's status. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it against our law to pay taxes to the Roman Emperor or not? Jesus, however, was aware of their evil plan and so he said, You hypocrites! Why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin for paying tax. They brought him the coin and he asked them, Whose face and name are these? The Emperor's, they answered. So Jesus said to them, Well then, Pay to the emperor what belongs to the emperor, and pay to God what belongs to God. When they heard this, they were amazed, and they left him and went away. That same day, some Sadducees came to Jesus and claimed that people will not rise from death. Teacher, they said, Moses said that if a man has, who has no children dies, his brother must marry the widow so that they can have children who will be considered the dead man's children. Now, there were seven brothers who used to live here. The oldest got married and died without having children, so he left his widow to his brother. The same thing happened to the second brother, to the third, and finally to all seven. Last of all, the woman died. Now, on the day when the dead rise to life, whose wife will she be? All of them had married her. Jesus answered, How wrong you are. It's because you don't know the scriptures are God's power. For when the dead rise to life, they will be like the angels in heaven and will not marry. Now as for the dead rising to life, haven't you ever read what God has told you? He said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He's the God of the living, not of the dead. When the crowds heard this, they were amazed at his teaching. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Ouch. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. <coughs> he has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in, in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
Behold, Behold my chosen, whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. Father, we come to the end of another week. And as the weekend begins here, as the weather forecast is maybe snow and cold and then unseasonably warm and then even colder, Father, we can tell the signs using meteorologists, but no one knows the signs. No one can tell the portents that herald the coming, the return of the Christ. So Lord, as we get ready for a weekend, may we in the same way be ready for the coming of your Christ when he returns. Yes, may all that we are, all that we do, be done in readiness and preparation for the coming of the Christ. And may all that we do not be counted or judged or viewed by man but may we strive to love, to honour, to uphold those around us and to build a life that when the final judgment comes will be found valid, worthy and most of all approved of by you, Father. Yes, Lord. We ask this in your most glorious name, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as the weather turns decidedly wintry, we thank you that the polar bears in Yorkshire's zoos are enjoying the wintry weather and feeling at home. Lord, we thank you that there is always a silver lining, always a bright side, always something positive to be found, even in difficult and seemingly dire circumstances. Yes. Father, we pray that you would give eyes to all people to be able to see and the desire to look and search for the positive, not just to settle on the negative and stay there. Father, may your church be the forebears, the forerunners in this in pointing to the places where you are at work in the things that you are doing among people because you are always at work you are always present you are always bringing new life and new hope and comfort and healing yes we just need to have the eyes to see it lord So help us as individuals, help us as communities of faith, help us as a, a country to look for the positives, to make the most <coughs> of whatever situation we may find ourselves in. Yes. We know it's difficult, we know it's been a long time and in the winter months especially it can seem even more debilitating and depressing but most of us hide away during the winter most of us go out less during the winter most of us stay at home and enjoy the warmth and the comforts that are there and yet because we're told we have to, somehow it feels different. So Lord, give us a perspective that is thankful for what we have. Thankful for having a home to shelter in. Thankful for having warmth and food. 
thankful for having things around us to occupy us. Opportunities to perhaps try things we haven't tried before. Listen to music we haven't listened to before. Read books or watch films or do things that we haven't done before because we have time. And Lord, we pray for those for whom this surplus of time is an indicator of a lack of work and perhaps a lack of income for those families that are really struggling at the moment. Lord, that they would not be forgotten, but that we would reach out, perhaps provide a meal or some shopping or just a conversation. Lord, you made us to live together in community. Help us now in our isolation to strive more than ever to be part of that community and to bring others in. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray tonight for the life of a man, Graham Perks, a plastic surgeon who found himself confronting someone who'd broken into his home during all that ensued. He was stabbed in the chest and in the abdomen and is now fighting for his life, a 65-year-old man who has committed his life to medicine and caring for others. And Father, we pray for all this day who, like this man, are fighting for their lives, who are struggling, not from an assailant who's broken in, but from an assailant that is perhaps a virus, that is perhaps cancer, that is mental health, mm. for the people who suffer from so many things and as father we look at the things that affect people around the world father i thank you for the apparent integrity of mark rutter's government in holland as they made people homeless jobless and mucked up the welfare system so much that People found themselves owing 40 odd thousand pounds and their lights, their water, their gas and everything was turned off. They were given no money. What benefits they had were stopped and they've accepted that what they've done was so wrong that all they can do is offer wholesale the resignation of the government. And Father, that's a great act, but we pray for the people for whom that act is merely an act for it has nothing to do at the moment with the drama in which they live so we pray that those who have been wrongly served those who have been dispossessed displaced and broken in so many ways would find reconciliation and would find a way of rebuilding their lives and their families lives father we pray for the places in the world where unrest, where lack of security, lack of control, lack of sound policing and government cause distress this day. And we pray that your hand would be on it and the lives of your people would be a force for change. Lord, in your mercy, in hear our, our prayer.
Father, we pray for loved ones. We pray for Maureen Williams as she continues to recover from the chemotherapy and to prepare for the next bout. Lord, we pray for all those we know who are waiting for transplant surgery, which now seems so unlikely to happen because of the backlog. Those who are on dialysis, those who have other organs in failure, who really need this surgery. Mm. Lord, we pray for those who are living with terminal illness, with dementia, with mental health issues. Lord, we pray for your healing, we pray for your comfort, we pray for your abiding presence to bring reassurance and a sense of well-being despite the circumstances. Lord, we pray that you would be with those who are waiting for treatments, that you would provide for them and that you would protect them in the meantime. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with your Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Believe in the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread, forgive, forgive us our sins, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being with us and a note to the wives, don't take the mickey out the wife while she's reading something because she will <laughs> definitely duff you up. Take care guys, bless you, stay safe and... Have a good evening. Oh, my voice got deeper. Take care, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>